G'day, I'm Matt from Bush Tracker, and I'm here to show you one of our current vans available for immediate delivery. This is a 20 foot Bush Tracker, set up for a couple of two, and uh, let's have a look. So you can see here at the front of the van, here's our A-frame drawbar assembly. We've got a firewood rack on the very front, uh, two gas bottles, here's a spare tire. On the other side, we've got the, a carrier for another tire, which we can put in there if you choose, or you can use that as an extra little storage area for the likes of firewood if you wanted to. Our electric front leg is standard, as well as the five ton hitch, easy hitch. Moving further back, here is the cargo bay. This is our main storage area for the van. You can see it's illuminated by a couple of lights, fully carpeted, and you can see there's plenty of space in there for all of your camp chairs, barbecues, other bits and pieces. Uh, moving further back, here's the entry door, which I'll show you inside in a second. Uh, here's the lifestyle table. That's essentially a good little spot you can put things uh, while you're sitting outside under your awning. This is what we call an AV locker, where you can take a TV outside, plug it in. It also gives you a remote control for your outdoor speakers, which are up there. A couple of awning light, uh, lights as well, and now they also can flick to yellow, so if the bugs are a problem, uh, you can flick them over and um, makes a quite a difference, actually. Uh, and then, yeah, there's the electric awning up there that basically hit a button and out she goes. Moving into the van, you can see here down here is a little courtesy light. There, actually, both of them are switched at the bed uh, and so at night time if you need to get up go to the bathroom something like that you can turn them on without disturbing your partner and also underneath that bed are four massive big drawers which are accessible from inside the van with, with lots of storage moving up into the van you can see here that's a full queen size bed so it's over two meters long over one and a half meters wide it is a proper household bed also here you've got storage on both sides a couple of usb uh, outlets on your bedside tables as well so you can charge your phone at night and then moving around you can see he's looking back into the caravan so on the near side or the uh, sorry on the off side is the dining area which is what we call a club lounge or a u-shaped dining uh, so that you can see there is a good size uh, it's also got what we call the novo mapper table leg so under here there's a little handle if i flick that it releases a mechanism now I can actually slide that table whichever way I like, move in and out, left and right, but also rotate. So you can see there's lots of flexibility there when you're sitting there. If that table's in the way, you can move it. Uh, but if you want a bit more space in the walkway for when you're living in the van during the day, uh, you can slide it out of your walkway as well to give you more space. On this side of the van, here's your kitchen. So it starts obviously with the 32-inch TV mounted there on the wall. That is a smart TV as well. Underneath the bench below it, you can see we've got a microwave and that has a drawer below it. Next along, we've got our double bin arrangement. So you've got your recycling and normal waste uh, storage under the sink. And you can see here, this insert comes out of the sink. There's your, your normal style sink there. That also has a drainer basket as well that comes as a part of the kit. Uh, then we have our Swift stove oven grill. So you can see it's got a latch on, on to stop it opening while you're driving. There's your four burners grill, oven, and then finally at the end here, we've got the likes of our, our storage drawers and also a pull-out pantry. You can see their wire basket pantry storage. Lots of storage in this van. Also, all the way across the top of the kitchen, we've got overhead cupboards as well. Coming back to here, got the camera catch up. This is the fridge. So that's a Bushman 190 litre fridge. That just slides out of the way. That's the travel catch. You can see here freezer fridge plenty of space in there and then underneath is another massive big storage drawer as well if I open this here's the bathroom so in here you can see we've got a washer and dryer combo all in one we've got our vanity sink the toilet another one of those courtesy lights that I showed you earlier storage underneath the vanity and then actually in behind the mirror as well so if i open that up you can see the shelf storage is in there and then in here you've got little side storage as well if i open this door this is the shower so you can see storage in here as well in the cupboards because we have our cutaway uh, it gives us an opportunity to use a little bit of storage what a lot of people tend to use that for is extra towels linen anything like that those doors are completely waterproof uh, and then down the bottom, you see in all of our vans, we've got two drain outlets. That's essentially so if the van is slightly out of level when you stop for the night, you uh, you won't get a build up of water in that shower, it'll always drain. So let's look back forward into the caravan, standing from the bathroom, looking up. 
you can see plenty of space in here. We did raise the ceiling slightly in this one as well, which gives a, a greater feeling of space. Uh, it's got the Dometic Ibis 4 uh, inverter air conditioner, skylight hatch in the middle, and then up in here, the likes of all your electronics controls. So this particular one, you've got your 12 volt controls, your battery gauge, so you can see we're sitting at 90% at the moment, hot water control and your stereo, which can also be controlled from outside. Uh, and then the battery system itself is actually just here under the bed. So if I lift that up, you can see looking down in here, there's that cargo area I showed you from outside. And then in between where the drawers are and that cargo bay is that's where the battery system is. So that's the Enerdrive Pro Series 300 amp hour lithium. It also has a 60 amp mains charger, a 40 amp DC to DC charger, and a 60 amp solar regulator as part of that system as well. So that's the van. Any questions, feel free to contact us on our website or our Facebook, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.